Hi, you guys. This is Prophetess of Phil Sabrina Acapo, and I am back again, via the leading of the Holy Spirit, with another prophetic word for you guys. And as with any prophetic word, you would absolutely want to go to the Lord in prayer, testing the Spirit to affirm and confirm that perhaps this prophetic word is for you. Holy Spirit. I invite you in to take full charge, to take full control, to take full access. I decrease as you increase. Allow me to bring forth your word with your glory, with your power, with your grace, with your mercy. Telling your story so your name can be glorified for the winning of souls to the gospel of Jesus Christ. In Jesus Christ's mighty name, that I do pray. Amen, 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 and amen. Tidy, you guys, of this prophetic word is you're about to see the unknown and the unimaginable hidden treasures. You're about to see the unknown and the unimaginable hidden treasures. Let me jump off into this word, you guys. So, you guys, the Lord has been affirming and confirming the times and views heavily of 333. And Eva had me praying this scripture into the atmosphere every day. When he resurfaced it today, it was in a completely different context. And the Holy Spirit began speaking and unctioning in my spirit. You're about to see the unknown and the unimaginable. What you have never thought could be possible in your life is being made possible. The glory of the Lord is being revealed and all flesh should see it together. Then the Lord gave me a revelation of an eye exam along with frames. And stated that he is changing your vision and your viewpoint. So you're going to see things in a different light. He wants you to see things the way he will have you to see it. And the Lord wants you to see beyond what you can see with the naked eye and the supernatural beyond your own comprehension. Jeremiah 33 and 3. Call to me and I will answer you and tell you and even show you great and mighty things. Things which have been confined and hidden, which you do not know and understand and cannot distinguish. So he wants you to get a different perception. In a different perspective. Because you're walking into a different. Genre. You're walking into. A totally completely. Different status. The Holy Spirit is saying. Then I heard Tasha Cobb singing. You are getting ready to see. Something you've never seen. Then I heard her say, eyes haven't seen and ears haven't heard the kind of blessings that's about to fall on thee. First Corinthians 2 and 19, however, as it is written, what no eye has seen, what no ear has heard, and what no human mind has conceived, the things which God has prepared for those who love him. This goes with your discernment, your intuition, and the Holy Spirit is saying that third eye. It's a call to discover hidden treasures around you and within you. It's a closer walk with Jesus, making a call to him and tapping into the great reveal. And I hear him saying the objects in the mirror are closer than they appear. And that the vision is for an appointed time, though it tarries, wait for it, for it will surely come. It will not tarry. This is at now time. This is at set time. Your infinite and secret treasures that he is wanting you to acquire. Those very same gifts and talents that are going to cause him to make room for you before great men. And as well cause you to make history. It's a power and a call to him that is undeniable. The Lord is saying you do not have a chance. You do not have a choice. Excuse that in the matter. He is wanting you to avail yourself to him making the call and he is wanting you to capture the essence of your hidden treasures along with your blessings i'm getting the call while i'm trying to upload i apologize that you have searched high and low and outside things but he wants you to know that the answer is deep within you and i heard the song god is the answer no matter what you're going through, coming to Jesus, 
It make your life brand new. Your gifts, your talents, abilities, creativity through your God-given talents are about to be sharpened. All because you petitioned heaven. You have called out to me and I have heard thee. Every day through your prayers. Every day of walking out in faith. Every day of saying I believe the, uh, the call that I'm making. Every hidden thing which you have not known. The Lord is further saying, look to him, the author and the finisher of your faith. Your role guide, your role map, your instructions, your directions, your blueprint, your turn left, your turn right for insight. Because he's going to get he's going to give it to you. He would never lead you astray. He would never lead you the wrong way that when you tried him, you're going to come out as pure gold. Riches and wealth is what you will find. Isaiah 45 and 3. I will give you hidden treasures, riches stored in secret places. So that you may know that I am the Lord, the God of Israel, who summons you by name. You're about to see the unknown and the unimaginable hidden treasures. That said, the spirit of the living God in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Like, share, and subscribe, you guys. Don't forget to hit that noti bell where you guys can be notified each time I upload a video. Welcome, 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 welcome to all of my new subscribers, you guys. Welcome to the fam. I pray that this word has really gave you revelation and understanding what the Lord is saying because the Lord is saying everything that you need is on the inside of you. Everything that you're trying to find inside of a box. And outside, looking for other places. The Lord is saying the places in you because I abide on the inside of you. Treasure is on the inside of you. He wants you to tap into because he, he, he abides on the inside of you because he abides on the inside of you. You're going to make that call to him every day. Petition heaven to release on your behalf. And I'm telling you, open treasure and manifest that blessings are coming to pass in your life. And you're going to see that thing with an optical vision. You're going to see that thing with tunnel vision. You're going to see that thing with that third eye. The Lord is wanting you to tap into everything that belongs to you. The Lord is wanting you to have that unlimited supply. The Lord is wanting you to have overflow. The Lord is wanting you to have new dimensions. The Lord is wanting you to have continuously because you have been in him. The Lord is wanting those blessings to come upon you and overtake you because you chose to hearken to his voice. That he's ready to open up the windows of heaven and pour out blessings. That there's not room enough for you to receive it all. You're about to see the unknown and the unimaginable hidden treasure because you chose to petition heaven. You chose to make that call. You chose to be in continuous prayer. Prayer. You chose to be in continuous prayer. Excuse that. You chose to be consistent. And the Lord says for that I'm revealing to you as well as changing your name and taking you to a new hierarchical level and a new dimension. You are about to see the unknown, the supernatural, the unimaginable hidden treasures. That said, the spirit of the living God in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Father God, I just thank you for bringing his word forth. I just thank you for hidden treasures. Unimaginable, giving us that eternal vision, giving us that third eye, giving us the objects in the mirror being closer than they appear, giving us to look within ourselves and be able to tap into the supernatural to know what's happening, Holy Spirit, giving us that double the discernment to tap into the senses of a new heaven and a new earth, a new level and a new hierarchical dimension, giving us that tenacity to say, you know what? We're not going to dig within ourselves and look for other venues and other avenues, but we're going to look to you to often and finish around faith, the same God today, yesterday, and forevermore, and make that call. The Lord is saying, because you have done that, your hidden treasures are being revealed and he's changed it all. That's that the spirit of the living God in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. I love you guys. I am always praying for you guys. May the Lord richly bless each and every one of you guys and see you guys all through to the greatness of success. Open up a completely new level for you. Open up a new book that's a page turner, that's a new ch chapter for you. Unimaginable, supernatural. You have tapped into his grace and sufficient, his mercy endures forever. He didn't treasure. You have tapped into your continuous blessings. 
You have tapped it to increase. You have tapped it to release. It's a rainfall that's coming upon you. It's a change of it all that's coming upon you. All because you made the call. All because you petitioned heaven. All because you exercised your faith. All because you used your discernment. All because you changed your mindset. This has placed you into manifested blessings. This has placed you into treasure. And this has placed you into your next. That's it. The spirit of the living God in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Take care. I love you guys once again. And we will most certainly talk on the next. Have a phenomenal weekend. By the special grace and mercy of God. And I love you guys. And God bless you. Bye-bye. Take care. God bless you. Bye-bye.